Um, so this is dedicated to all of those girls that have been uh, heartbroken. Um, I hope I can help you guys with this. Um, where should I start? Uh, I know how bad it hurts. I've been there. And even though I'm not a girl, obviously as you can see. <laughs> Anyways, um, you know, I know, I know how bad it must hurt, you know. Having to find out that that person that you love so dearly doesn't love you as much. Now, not every girl has the same mentality. Not every girl ends up um, heartbroken. Sometimes it's actually the opposite. The girl ends up breaking the nigga's heart. Now, it's painful for both uh, both sides. Because either you break his heart or he breaks your heart. But, um, you know... I'm gonna I'm tell you one experience that I had. Uh, I never really talk about this because, you know, because of the fact that it hurts so bad. Um, when I started my freshman year, you know, um, I, uh, before I dated um, <laughs> one of the most perfect girls, um, you know, I, I was dating someone. Someone who I picture my future with. You know, it might sound like a joke to you guys, but, uh, you know, this girl, how should I describe her? She had everything I needed. She gave me the love I wanted. She created the perfect future for me. Now, I was too, too naive, too much of a little kid to actually realize that this was just bullshit to blind me into believing that um, she was the only one that I could love you know and uh, it hurted me deeply having to find out on my own that all this love all these happy memories we're actually gonna have to come to an end that they were gonna tear me apart from the inside out you know and uh... it hurts but uh... there are some things that you know you can't really control there are things you can and there are things you can't falling in love is something that you really can't control you know, sometimes you try to stop yourself before it's too late. But, uh, you know, the way I see it, sometimes you got to be a, a risk taker. You got to risk it all in order to find out the most, you know, not to find out, but to actually find one of the most beautiful things you will ever find, which is love. You know, people say that love is giving the power to somebody to crush your heart in different levels, but hoping they won't. You know, that love is one of the most precious things you'll ever find. You know, that, uh, that it will change your world. Yeah, it really will. Sometimes in a good way and sometimes in a bad way. Um, you know, sometimes people take advantage of, you know, our sweetness. They take advantage of what we do for them. They believe that because of the fact we love them, we're going to remain at their side and choose to get hurt, you know, based on the stupid shit they do to us. And that we're going to stay there for as long as they want us to. But it shouldn't be that way, you know. The good thing about this is that we have the choice to love. We have the choice to avoid getting hurt. You know, we have the choice to not, you know, deal with the shit that a relationship brings. But we also got the choice to fall in love with the right person and be patient enough for them to come to us. Instead of us chasing after someone who's not worth it. You know, half of the times we believe that if we rush into love, love is going to work out perfectly. It doesn't happen that way. 
you know life and love tend to take different courses leading us to different passages that eventually lead us to getting heartbroken now getting back to my experience you know I had to learn the hard way you know as I said in the beginning when I started dating her um, <clears throat> you know I believe that uh, she was the perfect one that uh, she was never gonna betray my trust my love or any any of those things uh, and eventually you know one day my my best friend calls me and he's like dude he's like you know come over to my crib I gotta show you something now I'm like what the fuck is it you know now it's my birthday so I'm thinking you know this nigga's probably gonna tell me some random shit right I go over to his house and you know while I'm I'm getting there he's like whatever you do or whatever you see he's like don't do nothing stupid it's not worth it he's like remember when I told you that your girl was cheating on you with one of your friends I'm like yeah what about it like she trying to say with it he's like as I said whatever you see watch your reaction he's like don't fuck up it's not worth it I'm like okay now I'm telling myself please don't be nothing bad because it's my birthday now it's kind of fucked up to find something so stupid like that in a special day like your birthday but whatever I go over and you know he tells me he's like check in that room right there he's like once you see it you're gonna wish that you never met that person but uh you know you have the choice to avoid this to avoid getting hurt to avoid not loving someone so fucked up as her <laughs> that's the good thing about life we have the choice to avoid the bullshit we have the choice to avoid people like them people who take us for granted and are not scared to lose us you know even though we're like the best thing that they will ever find in their lives but you know whatever so I go in there and <laughs> it's hilarious you know now that I think about it I actually laugh about it because I'm like I was such a kid back then but fuck it you learn from experiences right so I go in you know and I find her on top of uh, my friend friend you know and they're like fucking the shit out of each other now I'm like what the fuck dude am I on my birthday though feel me on my birthday damn I'm like shit and this this girl over here she promised that she was gonna you know go over to my crib and have a good time with me <laughs> apparently you know she couldn't hold it until she got to my house so she decided to fuck the first dick that she found in there now this happened to be one of my friends you know so it's hilarious what she answered me you know like so I go in and I find her on top of this nigga like they're like whew. you know the bed is just like bouncing now <laughs> apparently she's doing all the work but either way you know uh, she's like oh my god babe is not what it looks like what the fuck is that it's not what it don't, don't you think she deserves to get slapped like straight up don't you think she deserves to be slapped who the fuck says that it's not what it looks like then what the fuck is it she's on top of this nigga's dick and this nigga like just like uh dude it's not what it looks like like fuck you too man feel me fuck you and that's the that's the good thing about life you can avoid all this bullshit if you just choose to be smart and choose the right person this is the good thing about life make the best of it learn from every mistake you made and avoid stupid people who don't appreciate you straight up you know word of advice have fun man today you're today you're alive tomorrow you might not live why waste your time on stupid people who don't even appreciate every single second every single minute of their lives that they spend with you you guys every single one of us is an amazing person we just gotta learn how to deal with the bullshit around us and actually find somebody worth living for somebody worth fighting for just saying until next time see you guys